Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Digital Painting Slash Drawing Tutorial where today we're going to be talking about this color. As you can see, it is white. Now specifically we're going to talk about how to sort of shade uh, white objects. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you would have these kind of questions because uh, if you watch one of my previous video where I talked about color and shading, uh, you'll notice that I use an object with a color which is pretty easy to understand. As you know from my last video, what I told you guys is to just do this, pick a base color, and then change the hue, change the brightness. It's it's really easy to follow the process, but then uh, when you think about it, or when you try to, to draw a white object, you'll realize, oh wait, how am I supposed to pick a midtone, or heck, how am I even supposed to shade it? And then you start to run into problems. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna address about that now. First things first, uh, white is not just uh, pure white. It doesn't have to be this, like specifically this edge of the color bar slash color uh, wheel or whatever color picker that you use. I'm gonna show you something like this. You see here, these are all white, yet you can see there are definitely hues when comparing to the white background. But if I do this, you can see that this is, it's totally white. And if you were to add some other colors, or let's say this were to be some other object, let's say we give another like shadow or something like that you can easily see, oh, this is totally white. And that's like the shadow, that may be a cloud or something like that. So uh, what you wanna know is like, if you wanna choose a mid-tone, you wanna choose from here. Okay, uh, let's just get to the dark example of things, which is this. So first things first, you don't want to do this. Like this right here, like this is like, no, no, d d don't, don't do this. Like you're not supposed to shade things to a black shadow as I've addressed in a previous video. So you want something uh, to look something like these two. And as you can see, like with the, with both of these, like you can already tell uh, a lot. And if you already get the basic idea of the whole video, uh, please comment down below. I want to see how many of you actually realize how to do things just by looking at this. So continuing on, as you can see, even though these are all sort of white, they're completely different in terms of hue. So it actually, if I were to go back to the previous example, they'd actually be in this hue, which is like the purple hue, uh, sorry, the blue hue and this, which is sort of the yellow hue. And as you can see, they give different overall effects as in you can sort of imagine them in two very very different locations so like for this one like you you might imagine it to be well it might be in like say a cold room or like let's say uh, just an overall generally blue lit room and this is sort of and like an orange lit room but not only that even if it's in the same room or quote unquote the same setting this one would actually be cooler than this one so what i mean by that is where did I put it? The same thing actually follows with white as I stated in the previous video where I said uh, if you have a warm color, you want to use these hue. If you have a colder color, you, you use these kind of color. Now generally, as you can see, this is blue, which signifies well cold color. And this is sort of warm color. So you can assume that this is sort of like a, a no temperature or no warmth light from a light bulb. And this one would be is maybe from a traditional light bulb or heck from the sun. Now to better demonstrate this, I'd actually show you show you this, which is something that I've been working on. As you can see, well, this is supposed to be in like uh, on a snowy mountain skating down ice, which you can instantly assume, well, it's gonna be cold. So obviously I went for the blue color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what happens if I try to put a warm colored white. As you can see, something looks a bit odd. And this is what I'm talking about in terms of, let's say using a correct hue or like a suitable hue, which in this case, number one, it's actually no, just number one because it's in a cold environment. And as you can see all the shading and shadow for like even the snow, I use blue because it wouldn't make much sense when the overall temperature is like cold and you were to have like warm shadows. In fact, you can just look at real life images and you can see that like maybe not to this extreme extent, but when a white object is sort of in like a warmer environment, it will look something like this compared to if it were to be in like a colder environment, which it will most probably look like this. So once again, uh, a small recap. Uh, first of all, obviously don't do this. Like this is completely wrong unless you're doing black and white in case it's totally fine. First things first, uh, remember to pick the mid-tone as a white that's not completely towards like the white white, but about here. And then according to the background or the setting that you want, if it's warm, 
choose a warmer hue. If it's cold, choose a colder hue according to the color wheel and just shade it as I've stated before in the previous video, just change the hue. As you can see, the hue is changing and then change the position of where this thing is from light to dark. And that's about it. And remember, contrast is key. Like I've sh shown just now, like this is white, like all of these color is white in a gray background, but it's not really white if it's like against a white background. So once again, make sure you start with the background so you know which, which color to use, which in this case I really did. Because, because if this is in somewhere else, like then I won't choose this color. So let's say if it's, it were to be a sunny day, sunny day or something like that, I might just use this just because of, just because of the setting. I hope this video has been helpful. If it did help, maybe consider sharing it to a friend who might benefit from it. Like if you liked the video, dislike it if you disliked it, and comment down below on why. And while you're at it, feel free to comment on what you want to see in the future. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more future content like this. You can check out my other video on the screen right now and the end card. And as always, happy drawing.